Hi guys and welcome to another Amazing Thursday on another look. So today we're doing a more um, artistic body paint look and I wanted to mostly talk about, since you always guys see me doing um, the process and the steps and all that, I wanted to do a little bit about story time on how I did this look. I um, actually woke up this day, this was a Saturday and I this wasn't the plan the plan of this day was going to be something completely different but sometimes life takes you somewhere else and that's what happened this day um i woke up and something in my mind said you need to paint today so this is usually what happens to me when i'm doing the artistic looks i get a instinct um of something that's that I need to deliver a message so um, and that's how I reflect these messages they usually come in my artistic looks um, I this is this makeup specifically is kind of like a combination of everything I I do and I have done in the past looks uh, I it's is it's a little bit of like strong um, feeling uh, power electricity energy um, it's a little bit of everything I think um, I wanted to use the shades I wanted to use the color of my hair like the reddish tone because I have red red extensions and I said you know what today is not gonna be a actual wig well it's still is a wig because it's my extensions but what I mean is I wanted to complement the red and i decided to use one of my favorite colors that is green with the combination of the colors and incorporate the teal and the blue and the vibe of all these shades and kind of like create something out of it i usually search for reference pictures um in this instance i wanted to kind of combine the power of all these looks i have done in the past and kind of create my little own look but referencing the past looks so i always have this this trigger of of um, creating looks with lines and kind of um doing what i'm doing right now it's like a halo um look on my eyes um as you can see i started with contacts that i was so excited about super happy about them um towards the end unfortunately I had to remove them the uh, contacts started bothering me so much that it hurt me uh one of the eyes so i decided to remove it because if I don't, it was going to be worse or I was going to tear up a lot. But that's what happens in the process of doing makeup. Sometimes you're going to have ups and downs. Sometimes you're going to have moments that things don't work as you think they may. But you're going to have to find a strategy or find a way to connect with yourself again. Get the inspiration back, that motivation and keep going. Um, sometimes you're going to have uh, things that don't work out. And that's okay. Just take a breathe in take a moment take a step back and maybe go ahead it, like when that happened to me i had to go back to the bathroom look at myself in the mirror and i said is this gonna make a difference for you tam or is or are you still gonna deliver the message it didn't matter if i had contacts or not because i still wanted to get a message across the way with my art and that's the point so of course with the contacts it looks amazing but what i mean is you're gonna have times that things are gonna work things are going to things are not and you're gonna have to find a way to get back in track and keep working on the job on the the project on everything you do in life so it's mostly like how i get inspired with my my look sometimes i wake up i get these messages or this instinct to do things and i just go ahead and do them and and let myself flow in the moment um as i sit down and start doing the painting here and there i started getting more and more ideas in between uh the ideas come in the process of the makeup i can tell you oh um i started doing this and this is how the order was honestly it's not like i started getting 
ideas from here and there i started noticing oh i can add more red in this area or i can add more color here oh what about if i do this this way and that's the way i express myself with my looks and the process of how i get things done i hope you guys love this look how much as much as i did um and remember every thursday we'll be here doing these amazing either regular looks or more artistic looks so i'll let you to it so you guys can see the final result of this amazing look and of course as you can see you can't miss this part this is my favorite part when you put that red lipstick over all this amazing shading of blues and greens and it makes it pop out and make it a little bit stronger and bolder i think i think this one this was one of my favorite parts so this is it see you next time next thursday and don't forget to subscribe